Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I know we don't like making these sort of cards, but needs must, I'm afraid. I lost my auntie two weeks ago. I think it was two weeks ago. And obviously I've got to make some sympathy cards. She has three children. And the funeral is on Monday. Today is the... 7th of August and the funeral her funeral is on Monday so I need to do cards for my cousins and there's three of them so I'll have these two and I shall make a third card right to make this card I am using the stamp set let me just get another stamp out because I forgot right. Forever Fern guess now I have already stamped the bubble ones which are here I've done four and cut them out these ones here I have stamped and cut out four. Um, these two, two of these, and I have stamped and cut out. And I need two of these. I've done one, so we need to do another one of them. Um, and for the sentiment, with deeper sympathy, I've used peaceful moments, and I've just used that stump there sentiment the card I've got is just a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths whichever way it opens scored at four and one eighth folded and half and burnished two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for the inside and one for the outside and some scraps because I need to do one of the, these leaves and the sentiment. I cut the sentiment out using the sweet stitch dies and I used this one. Which lucky enough fits in my that one fit. Oh yeah. The big one fits in my machine as well. So my small machine. So to get started we will do our stamping. I don't need all this but I use this little one. So we'll put them to one side out of the way. Put my card out of the way. Put that out of the way for now. And we need to stamp the sentiment. So I'm using Blackberry Bliss and my sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle there. Never thought to see if this fit, and it does. So that's that one ready to be cut. Now for the leaf, the little leaves, I used Mossy Meadow. For the bigger leaves, I used Old Olive. So, and just stamp that there. That's that done. So, we need, oh, I never got the die out for this. Hang on. Because there's so many of them, I don't keep this set in my box, in its box, along with the stamp, because they don't fit. And so I need to order some magnetic sheets so I can put them in the bigger wallets. But I keep wallets like this got the wallets but not 
the magnetic sheets. So, bring in my scissors sidekick. Put that back on like that. A bit of tape over it. And There's my leaf. I'll just shove that under there. Keep that bit. Get rid of that bit. Right. handy keeping tape on top you can just grab it when you need it I need to cut this down a bit my sentiment, take my tape off, bin that, and put that over there, so we'll keep that with them bits, now this, got my paper snips, What I did, I cut between each leaf and maybe just cut out the excess white. The reason I did that is so that I could bend up each leaf in the middle just to add a bit of dimension and it's not laying flat. So each leaf has been squeezed up and then I just squeezed up in the middle. That way they've got a little bit of dimension to them. Right, let's put this card, oh no, can't put this card together. Now on here, what we're going to do, put that on upside down in the middle where you want it to be, straight, and draw around it, roughly, doesn't need to be Like that. Because what we're going to do is stamp out this leaf, which is this one, and we're going to use what's this one? Soft sea foam. And all we're going to do is stamp down, stamp off from the centre of the, where the sentiment should be. I've got bits 
it's all over this. Right. So just so it's like that, and then I wipe the middle bottom bit. Just stamp half the stamp, just so you can put some leaves on the edge, like that. And when that's on there, it looks good. Right. I don't think the lines will rub out because I've stamped over the top of them. But you might be able to get the ones that aren't stamped over and just rub them out. Quite happy with that. Right. Now I've got a bit of ribbon here that looks like Blackberry Bliss and I'm going to put that across the middle of the card. I've got no runner tape left so I have to use a little bit of double sided tape. trying to see if I can see where the middle was about there Then we'll stick this on our card base. Now, all these greens, I can just about see where the lines are, so these are going in the corners, and then these two will go like that there. You know what I mean. So let's glue these down. And then the other ones, as I call them.
Right. And then this will go on dimensionals. Turn the light off. Sun split in the heavens. About 90 degrees outside, if not more. And I have to have a light on <laughs> to film. I have got a fan on in the back. You most probably can hear it. Right. That down like that. And then these. I just pop under here. One each side. And that is my card for today. I've done them lighter. Didn't realise that. Doesn't matter. Hope you like it. Now I haven't done the inside before you say you forgot the inside. It's because I stamped uh, Know That Love Prayers and Caring Surrounds You Today. I didn't bring that stamp set over, I can't remember where I got it from, so I need to go and look for it, and then I'll stamp it inside and, um, that's better, and stamp, stamp it inside and stick it down afterwards. So, all I can say is, um, if you like it, please subscribe. If you would like to see more of my video, please press the bell icon so that you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.